Okay. Ugh, the date's not right. Uh, shoot. It was day when I I did this. Ah, uh, hey guys. Fisola here with another video. So this is the check-in point and this is the middle of the year. It's really hard to believe. I can't believe that we're already halfway through 2023 and that I'm actually six videos in with this. This is really amazing. I'm so excited to get the videos of the songs. And I think I might also just get another uh, video up there because I just realized a couple of things that uh, really made me laugh. And it kind of insinuates what I'm going to be doing very soon in the next couple of videos I will be posting after this. So just getting into it, I know when it comes to highs, I had, um, they're like bittersweet highs. Like, okay, so the first one was uh, kind of starting new, starting fresh with a new chapter. I finished my year service with the Make It A Foundation. So that was my AmeriCorps VISTA service term. And I just want to say right off the bat, like I'm not speaking on behalf of the Make It A Foundation and or AmeriCorps. I just wanted to talk about my experience and how it has really affected me in this past year. So it was so sweet. All the people that I've worked with were absolutely amazing. And I just couldn't ask for more loving and accepting people in the workplace. I was so grateful for them. It was so amazing to work with the people that we did when it came to uh, just the service and the impact in that way. And just the way that we were able to just make so much happen in a year is just so insane to me. I still remember the very first day and just thinking how much a year was like time that I was thinking about like committing and how quickly it went, which is so insane to me to think back hindsight. I just can't believe that it's went so quickly. And I was so worried in the beginning that, oh my gosh, it's a year, what am I gonna do? It, it really went a lot faster than I thought. I was actually able to kind of understand or see a few things of what I wanted to do when it came to career. And that was something very interesting to me because thinking about all of the opportunities to be able to make a difference and also give back and work in the nonprofit field, it kind of enlightened me to see exactly where I want to be in that part. And so that's kind of where I take that with my next part of the journey, which is kind of very enlightening. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. A year ago uh, this time, I was doing a job I really didn't enjoy and I took a leap of faith and ever since I've been so thankful and happy to change that you know I feel like I've gotten back many years of my life and mentally just feel a lot more grounded in that way when it comes to just doing things that that serve me and make me feel you know happy about what I'm doing and the impact that I am providing with that service to whoever it is that needs it and that's truly been a great message for me personally so you know anyone that wants to you know learn more about AmeriCorps I highly recommend it it's a really cool program and I mean I was already self-aware when it came to various things but it definitely brings a another level of attention when it comes to various um, barriers that we face as a society and people who deal with these perplexed barriers day in and day out that a lot of us may not really be aware of. And I'm still trying to meditate and figure out how I want to contribute to that or how do I want to best provide a service to help those people who are affected by that and so that's kind of where I'm using my time now to to kind of sit and think things through yeah that 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 whole experience is just phenomenal and um, I love them so much I'm gonna be supporting them of course always you can check them out they're great they're just great people all around um, I was able to go to a ladies brunch if you know me I love a good brunch you know so being able to be around um, wonderful, like-minded uh, ladies was truly phenomenal because the energy was just so bright, so warm, and so inspiring because everyone was just such a go-getter, you know, just doing what they love and just not 
taking any slack for it you know they're just standing in their truth and knowing that you know sometimes things do get difficult but that doesn't mean that you should stop and um there's just been a lot of cool things when it comes to lessons Ooh, sorry didn't mean to shake you there i really admire that i admired that a lot and the fact that i can consider them friends and and just family and just that close that's just like amazing because it really is like that type of mentality to look for and try to like grind and find your way when it comes to that impact and I, I really enjoy that so that's also something that I'm kind of exploring and just uh, allowing it to work through me till I find what's exactly the right thing so I'm excited I'm thrilled and um, you know those those are amazing highs hey what's up editor fee here i just wanted to come in and talk about a lot more highs that happened this month i'm so sorry i left them out i went to see a play with a friend and it was called ain't too proud which is the homage to the temptations and their journey through music and this was written and executively produced through the last surviving temptation otis williams and this was such an incredible show and i just I have to say my hats off to the crew and just everyone if you have a chance to see this and it's a town near you i highly recommend because this show was simply incredible i always love these type of presentations because the setting is so intimate and amazing and it just does something to me so i just want to give their flowers and just say please 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 go out and see ain't too proud because i promise you you'll be so happy you did Another place that I really wanted to talk about, another high, was going to two shows this month. You know, I always have a fun time with the FSK crew, as you see here, uh, Wiley, Mike, and Joshua, the new addition to our team. But we had so much fun, as you can see us giggling and laughing. I love just catching these little moments because they're so fun to look back on. And you kind of peep there too. At Anime, Ohio, the amazing times of just being able to explore, have new setups, have many funny stories, eating spicy food, and just, you know, just doing all the funny things uh, together and just being able to remember them. So, also, this was a shout out to my girl, Akimi. Uh, we said we were going to speak this into existence, and we did, you know, shout out to Joanna for the amazing pictures and the angles. You know, she is here in Korea now, but, you know, us being friends and girlies, you know, you can't get rid of us too quickly. And I know she won't forget us, but, you know, I just had to make sure. So this is for her. Now back to our scheduled programming. I, when it comes to Lowe's, I know just checking in with everybody, I hope everyone had an okay you know month i hope the month was well for you let me know in the comments below how this month really treated you what songs were you really listening to that kind of just kept you through the month and you know any type of experiences that just happened in june that you just want to share i really appreciate it this has just been a really quiet season for me and even though there's times where i'm really surrounded by a lot of people there's a lot of times where i do feel very secluded and it's not saying that that's a bad thing it's a great thing to be in quiet and solitude but sometimes it can be very stilling and it's just it's building up that discipline i realize there's a lot of um, habits that i've picked up over the time that i need to unlearn and go back to relearning a lot of other habits that i had before that i happen to have have released in the past and so it's a process of being aware and I think that's where the quietness is very helpful when it comes to understanding that as well as just loved ones loved ones passing <laughs> you know and just coming to terms to understand that you know having a grateful attitude can never do you wrong you will never go wrong by having a grateful heart because that's honestly what has kept me sane through this entire year through the ups and downs and which is crazy i think this will be really cool and you guys let me know what your thoughts are i plan on probably going through the highlights of every single video that i've done for month reviews at the end of the year so i can kind of do a full 2023 review and see exactly how we can do the next year differently and i feel like i'm doing this you know year by year and seeing it improve i think this will be a really cool um project to see how it comes out so let me know because i actually really want to see how that turns out so um yeah <laughs> like another lesson gratitude never goes out of style another lesson i can say that i learned 
like as of today, like very recently, was sometimes when it comes to suffering, when it comes to trial and adversity, it is just a season that's preparing you for the next big step in your life. It will come to pass. And I wouldn't say that I'm suffering in, in that way. I'm very blessed with where I am. I'm very content with all of the things in my life. I'm very grateful. No, I'm, I'm not saying I'm suffering. However, when it comes to certain things that you don't expect and things are not going your way, sometimes you can consider that to be suffering or you just, you know, it's a different point of view. Changing that perspective me and, and just going at it with a more gratitude point of view, it definitely can be the make or break when it comes to finding that breakthrough, finding that miracle. You know, miracles happen more often than we we might believe. You know, I, I personally believe miracles happen every single day. It is just us and how we perceive a miracle and how we may, you know, see it if we're looking in the right place. And so you have to take those little things and you have to hold them close to you so you can appreciate the bigger things that come along the way. And I think that is a beautiful discovery to have. And so going forth with the second part of the year, I definitely feel a lot better when it comes to just getting prepared. Whatever it is that is, is set for me, it is set for me, it's meant for me, it'll never pass me. I feel a lot more sound in that I, I'm doing okay. And I don't know why I felt otherwise. You know, we can be our worst critics, and I can say that sometimes I'm just not the nicest to myself, and that's fair, but I'm doing okay. And if you're watching these videos and you kind of think the same way, I'm pretty sure you're doing okay too, so, you know, don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Cut that out, you know. <laughs> I think that is the majority of this month. This month has really, has really went fast. Like, I just... I've been just trying to rest and mentally gather myself so I can prepare for that next chapter. Even though I'm not even sure what it is, I think just being prepared and being open is just the best thing that you can do. And I'm okay with that, you know. I trust that, you know, whatever God has for me is going to be perfectly fine and even better than I imagine. And so, like they say, not by my strength, not by my might, you know, I'm in good hands. So <laughs> I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was at least helpful. I will put all of my songs and everything in the description as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments exactly what you look forward to for the second half of the year. Did it kind of have you feeling like that guy? Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. That's how I feel. But if I'm not the only one, please let me know because, you know, our second half is going to be a lot better because I'm working on various things that we can do so we can continue to up our game, okay? Because I got you and we in this together. So once you know me, you know me and I'm here and I'm rooting you on. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful next month. I will see you in July. You guys take care. Peace out. Bye.